In this video, I'm going to discuss all about resina plants, the wonderful plant which suits for outdoor and some indoor also. So yeah, today we are going to see about this plant and if you are not subscribed to my channel and if you like gardening, then subscribe to my channel and if it helpful, to uh, please share to your gardening friend and if you want this video in Tamil, you can just check out my channel. Okay, so there are different types of uh, resina plant that are available in the market. Some are indoor uh, resinas and some are uh, outdoor resinas. So uh, today I have about four types of resinas. So this is called as resina margnita. So it is also available in another color which is uh, with red or maroon color. So these two types of like the structured resina is suitable for uh, outdoor. That means it can tolerate the direct sunlight. So you can just place them upon the direct sunlight. So it's not a problem. And you can also uh, keep them indoor. So they can uh, grow good. And, uh, and they are not uh, that much difficult to grow them. So if you are a new gardener and if you are new to resinas, just trot with this types of resinas which will suit to you. And also uh, you can just pot them in small pots itself uh, and it uh, grows very nicely without any much care. And the second type of resina that I am going to discuss with you is this one uh, which is uh, narrow, narrow and also broad leaves. That means it has some narrow leaves with broader leaves. So uh, this is, uh, you can place these types of resinas, like the structure of the leaf. So be, uh, depending upon the structure of the leaf, we can uh, decide that we, we need to uh, place it in direct or indirect sunlight. So these types of resina leaves having you know, that plant, you can just place them in direct sunlight. But as I don't have the uh, direct sunlight places, I kept them in a uh, place where it gets about 2 to 3 hours of direct sunlight. And you can also place them indoor, they can do good. But the coloration may vary. So you uh, like what the uh, nutshell in nutshell what the thing is. These types of resinas you can just place them in direct sunlight also, uh, and also a sunlight which uh, gets a bright light. So that type kind of direct sunlight so you can just place them. And the next thing is washing, and it's not that much difficult, or else uh, you need to don't worry when the topsoil feels dry you can just uh, water them then this is the type which you should keep them in indirect sunlight uh, so how we can identify so this is a uh, do uh, like what how to say it's uh, curly leaves it will have curly leaf as you can see the leaves is different right so we have uh, as of now we had uh, seen two types of resinas so it is completely different from the two types you can just see that it goes downwards and curling inside it it's invert curls so this kind of resinas must should be placed in indirect sunlight that means a bright light sunlight see i kept them in uh, under the tree so that it don't get direct sunlight if you place them in direct sunlight then the leaves will get dried or else it will get burnt so i let me show that from uh, I, I have uh, purchased this uh, plant six months ago so I just kept them uh, in direct sunlight as normal resinas but the leaves had burned and the, and the plant uh, went into its dead bed so that uh, then I, uh, I, I come to know from internet that these should be kept in indirect sunlight so I just moved them to uh, indirect sunlight uh, and now it's doing good very good so see this is the three month before leaf which uh, had burnt due to direct sunlight so you need to just uh, keep these types of these kind of resinas in direct bright light sunlight not uh, sorry indirect bright light sunlight not in direct sunlight so it is very easy to propagate them you just want to cut it off and just place them in sand or else in coco peat they will get rooted within a month and you can just keep them uh, into another pot to get newly new plants and the final one which i love so much so this is called as resina mahatma in india so i don't i don't know about other countries but in india we say it is as resina mahatma the pink leaves are very uh, gorgeous and phenomenal um, and this is direct sunlight uh, loving plant as you can see that uh, i have earlierly shown the second type of plant right um, narrow with broader leaves so these kind of 
uh, plants can be kept in direct sunlight and i just pruned off this plant uh, about six months ago so to have a bushier uh, foliage so you can also just pr uh, prune if it's very lengthy so if you have a resina which is very lengthier with a single shoot you can just cut it off and uh, you will have a bushier plant within three to four months so and you can the cut portion can be kept in sand or it's cocoa peat or in any uh, any kind of uh, potting soil so that it can grow into a new plant so yeah uh, these leaves will uh, have a brown foliage at the earliest and after uh, getting its maturity enough these will come with uh, very pinky stripes and very wonderful foliage so it's keep them uh, separate and different from other plants so these are the younger leaves, tender leaves, which comes with this fully red, uh, what it's not red, it's something pinkish color. So these are all the things which I uh, desire to share with you. So I think this uh, information is uh, helpful to you. So if you have uh, enjoyed this video, please uh, like this video. And if you have any doubts or else any feedbacks, just put it on the comment, da comment box down. And if you're not, it's subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my gardening blog channel so that you can get daily dose of uh, gardening things. And I also uh, upload my daily activities of gardening in uh, shots so that you will uh, get enthusiastic. So thank you. Let me see in the next video, guys.